The next head coaching position that I want to speak about is the Atlanta Falcons. Earlier this week, they hired Raheem Morris, the defensive coordinator from the Los Angeles Rams. Morris has been around the league for quite some years. Before becoming the defensive coordinator at the Rams, he held positions, various positions, with the Atlanta Falcons for about four to five years at that franchise. Then went on to have a lot of success with the Rams, built this defense that had players like Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, and then he made players like Kobe Turner go turn around and become a great rookie defensive player this season. He helped Ernest Jones be good. He's helped a lot of great defenders. Either great ones become extraordinary, good ones become great. You could say bad ones become good. He can take them up to another level. And I love this hire of Raheem Morris because it's it's threefold, right? The first thing I like about this, the pretty obvious one, is he's a defensive-minded coach. And what do the Falcons have that's been set in stone to be really proven? Defense. Last year, they won seven games because of their defense. They hung around more games because of their defense. They have great players, A.J. Terrell, Jesse Bates, Grady Jarrett, to name a few. And he's going to help this defense stay intact, stay powerful, and help what they're already good at potentially be great, but also just be stabilized. You need something stable on your team, and they will be able to have that with Raheem Morris coaching this defense. The second thing I like about it is it's a bit of a culture shock, right? He's quite opposite of Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith came in as an offensive mind, Raheem Morris defensive mind, right? He comes from the bright lights of LA, and he understands what it takes to have success, whether you're in the bright lights or, or not. He knows what it takes to be good and to compete at the highest level. Arthur Smith came from the Titans, who they had a good year or two with him, but nothing to write home about. Raheem Morse. He had great years with the Rams, right? He was phenomenal there. They were competing year in and year out, having a ton of success. And third, and certainly not least, mostly the most important thing, is it's going to be a big culture shock, right? There is rumors that Bill Belichick was interested in the Falcons position, and the Falcons were interested in Bill Belichick, mutual relations. And everyone's thinking, bring in Bill Belichick. He's a proven, he is a proven head coach. He's won six Super Bowls with the Patriots. He won a Super Bowl with the Giants. He knows how to win. He knows how to compete. But over the past few seasons, the Patriots haven't been good. And there's various factors to it, right? But the biggest thing that I take notice from the outside looking in is that the Patriots issue with Bill Belichick and the team was there was a disconnect, it felt like, between the young players and Belichick. The veterans, they've been around, they know how to play good, and they have... Everyone has respect for Bill Belichick. But if you're a 28 to 30-year-old, a 35-year-old player, you're going to have the utmost respect because you're not, you're not childish, right? I mean, I'm, I'm 21, right? I respect Bill Belichick, but who knows how I would act because I'm 21 years old, right? 30-year-olds, they're there to be motivated, to be locked in. They're zoned in. And they're willing to... Do the Belichick Patriot way method. If just you can't talk to the media, you got to lock in. In part because they're just there to win, but also in part because they've done it. I'm 21 years old. The rookies entering the league, they're 22, 21. Man, we've never been necessarily on the big stage in terms of, I'm sure these college kids, they were the big names that way they, where they went to school. But then they get to the NFL and the lights are brighter and it's more fun, like, you want to show personality during the interview. You want to be yourself. I would want to be myself. I'm 21. If someone interviews me and I'm on the Patriots or the Giants or whatever team I'm on, I'd want to be giving a thoughtful answer. I would want to show them, hey, I'm a nice kid. I like to have fun. You know, maybe crack a joke there in the interview. And it felt like there was a disconnect between Belichick and the young guys. And what do the Falcons have? A lot of young, talented players. B. John Robinson, Drake London, their offensive linemen, Caleb McGarry, Chris Lindstrom, H.R. Terrell's young. 
a lot of young players, their quarterback, whoever it might be coming in, most likely they'll draft one of the eighth pick. He'll be a young quarterback. And by having Raheem Morris, somebody that is very well respected by everybody, and primarily in this this conversation we're having now, players really respect him and they love him. It's got to be because he forms some sort of connection with them. Just like Dan Campbell and the Lions formed a connection with all players. Raheem Morris commands the respect and the love from the the stars and the studs. As soon as he got hired, Jalen Ramsey was like, he's the man. I love this guy. Great coach. The rookies on defense were performing at such a high level under him on the Rams. There's got to be a want to play for him to play that well, right? If you're a fourth round pick, yeah, you're going to work hard. But if you have a, a coach that cares about you, you're going to work even harder, right? If you have a good connection with them, just like if I go to school and I have a professor that's really nice to me, really cool, I'm going to want to do well in that class because he's helping me because he's so, they're being, that professor's being so kind to me and really helping me understand it. I want to do well in the exams and say, hey, thank you for helping teach this lesson the right way. I got an A and I'm thankful that you helped me with it. So I like it because he has a connection that I feel like will wrap around whether you're 40 or 20, however old you are, he'll have a great connection with you as a player and coach. He's also well-respected by everybody. The owners, the head coach, the GMs, the front office, the players, his coaching staff, everyone seems to have a lot of respect for him. Arthur Blank was blown away by the interview that he had. He commanded respect and a good relationship with Arthur Blank, the owner of the Falcons. During the exit interviews for the Rams, Les Snead, the GM for the Rams, uh, during the exit presser, first thing he ever said was, this guy needs a head coaching job because he's awesome. Knowing that if he says that, he'll most likely lose him, right, to be head coach somewhere else. You're losing a prized defensive coordinator. But he wanted that because he has so much respect for Raheem Morris and so much love and probably a great relationship with him. And that shows layers. He can command a locker room, the coaching staff, can communicate well with the front office, the owners. He's a total package. I love it because it's a bit of a culture shock in terms of if Bill Belichick came in there. That would be a culture shock, but not the one you'd want. Raheem Morris is bringing one that is innovative and fun and likable. We saw what the Lions did with Dan Campbell. I'm excited to see what the Falcons can do with Raheem Morris.